welcome once again, Flip Clock fans. Here we have a interesting little clock. I just got it in my mind that I had to have a wind-up flip clock. So we've got this number 16505, made in Japan. And uh, this one is named a Bradley. And if you look, you see Japan underneath Bradley. Now, there are uh, other clocks out there. One's called a Rhythm. There's an Elgin wind-up flip clock. And I'm starting to think they're all pretty much made by the same company. And then just renamed. Um, what we've got here, that wheel there flips the uh, tiles here. And the bottom wheel there, right there, will adjust the alarm. Now you notice there's no AM or PM here. Uh, this, um, wrong way, uh, this is to wind up the clock. It's already wound up pretty good, and this is to wind up the alarm that's going to go off here in a moment. So we've got the alarm selector here, pull, uh, alarm, push, stop. So we'll pull it. And roll it on there. Okay, that's not right. We'll wind it up a little bit, see if we can get a good sound out of that. All right, sounds like an old telephone. Okay. One thing you'll notice about this clock, it's uh, it sure does tick. It's a pretty loud uh, ticker. So with all our, with most of our clocks I show you here, we're going to take it apart just because I can't stand and not see what's inside here. Um, I have had it apart before, so um, the main reason is to clean it and get it as clean as possible. Well, it's a little dirty. We've got two machine type screws uh, slotted, which I thought was unusual. Now, the best way to get this part, I've only done it a couple times, so I'm guessing you just kind of grab the whole thing and kind of pull. And try to be careful here with the top. There you go. Um, you just kind of lift off after that. Okay. All right, but anyway, we have to unscrew. Lovely. We have to take that little uh, thing off. I feel like I'm working with a bomb here with all this ticking and alarming. Um, you have to take off this uh, pull knob here uh, to get the uh, casing off here. And as you can see, I've cleaned it out in there. It wasn't too dirty. It wasn't as dirty as some of the electrical ones. And there's your ticking. It's even worse. And uh, so in this housing, of course, you've got the gears for the mechanism. You've got two white different windings in there. There's really not a lot I can get in here to show you. Except for this steampunk looking thing here on the side. I really like it. Um, it's compact. It's neat looking. It's the only thing is the ticking. Flips well. Again, only just uh, no AM or PM. Just twelve hours there. And uh, reassembly, uh, just kind of put the um, front on there and then kind of put it in and snap it in place. It's not hard. Well, overall, I like it, uh, but I'll be honest with you, I'm most likely going to let that wind down and just put it on the shelf just for looks. Well, thanks for stopping by. When you get the time, come visit us at flipclockfans.com.